We're told in Genesis, after the flood, God will never destroy the world or people with water again. So there will be no more floods coming from God. We know on the Lord day of the Lord's return, fervent heat. Elements will burn, uh, be burned up with fervent heat. They shall melt. Nahum 1.5, the mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. The only time we get another flood is Revelation 12.15. And if you go get context on Revelation twelve fifteen, Revelation, no, Revelation twelve. And you can see here. It's talked about uh, Satan being cast into the pit. All right. So the devil has been tossed to the earth. And where was this? Because he knows he has a short time. So the only time the devil knows he has a short time is Revelation 20, verse 7. And it says, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman and opened up, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. So the dragon was trying to destroy everything the Lord had done after uh, Jesus' millennial reign. Because we see, we saw that Satan had, say his time was short. See, we see there in verse 3, Satan was pinned up for a thousand years, and he's going to be released. He has a short time. So Satan has a short season, and that's what we're in now. I'm guessing we're, I'm thinking we're probably in between 8 and 9, probably at the period. Because like I say, we haven't made it down to here. We know this hasn't happened. So the mud flood is Satan's return. That's the only other time we hear about a flood after Genesis. Because everything that happened when the Lord Jesus returned was heat. Burning up the elements. That's why you see burn marks on these buildings, melted buildings. Meltology was Jesus' return. Mud flood was Satan's return. It's plain as day in scripture. 